Good morning, everybody. Jim Hoffman here, pastor at St. John's United Methodist Church. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It is time for our daily devotion. I want to invite you to come and join me for a few moments as we spend a little bit of time in prayer and the reading of God's Word and a devotion for today. I'm looking forward to this time that we get to spend with one another. So as you join our Facebook Live event, if you'll leave a quick comment, I would appreciate you doing that. Let me know that you are here. If you have to watch this later today, don't forget to also leave a quick comment. I would appreciate knowing that you stopped by. It is Halloween Monday, so thank you all for being here. Happy Halloween to you. Hi, Linda. Good morning to you. I'm sure all of you have a busy day scheduled as you think about your evening tonight. Some of us are going to hand out candy. I'll hand it out on my front porch today because I'll have lots of little kids go by. Have some older kids come by too. We've had some adults that probably shouldn't be trick-or-treating, but they'll come by and want candy as well. So <laughs> it'll be what it will be. Had a good time yesterday afternoon with our little trunk or treat event. Not quite the crowd that we would normally have. Not sure what all transpired there, but we still had fun together and still got a chance to celebrate with the kids that did come. So thank you all who participated. Hi, Shirley. Good morning to you. So today we are going to finish out the September-October version of the Upper Room. Don't forget the November and December is available here at church if you need one. Uh, stop by and get one. Our scripture reading today is going to come out of Mark chapter 13, verses 28 to 31. Mark 13, 28 to 31. Hello, Barbara. Good morning to you. So nice to see all of you today. Mark chapter 13, verses 28 to 31. All right. Here is our opening prayer. Oh God, by your spoken word, you created everything that is. By your incarnate word, you redeemed us, and by your comforting word, you are with us still. So prepare us now to hear your word to us this day. Amen. Mark 13, verse 28 to 31. Jesus said, Learn this lesson from the fig tree. When its branch is new and tender and begins to put forth leaves, you know that summer must be near. In the same way, when you see and hear the things I've described to you taking place, you'll know the time is drawing near. It's true, this generation will not pass away before all these things have happened. Heaven and earth may pass away, but these words of mine will never pass away. Our uh, devotion writer is Ostin Brinch from Oslo, Norway, and focus verses, verse 31. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And here is uh, Mr. Brinch's devotion for today. Winter can be a challenge in Norway. <laughs> I've never experienced it there. I've seen things I can only imagine. He said, we have only a couple hours of sunshine each day, which means it is largely cold and quiet. Even the birds are silent with one main exception, the coal tit. I can be at my forest cabin in January and hear the coal tits singing from the large spruce tree outside. For me, the solitary song of the bird is a prophecy of spring, warmth, and sunshine. The snow will melt. 
leaves will grow and turn green. Life will turn, will return. Life is not always easy. Disappointments, health challenges, the death of loved ones can feel like the dark, cold, quiet days of a Norwegian winter. We find ourselves wondering, when will the light return? When will I feel peace? In the lesson of the fig tree, Jesus tells us that the love of God is always near, even when the darkness overwhelms us. So I listen to the cultists singing in January, and I sense God is near. So the thought for the day is, in every season, God is near. I have not had the chance to go to Alaska. It's one of the places that's kind of on my bucket list. Margaret and I have talked about if, I say if, if we decide to sell everything and buy an RV and travel, we thought it would be fun, maybe on one trip, to take the Alaskan um, Highway, the Alaskan Canadian Highway, and so go up through the Upper Northwest and then take off through Canada and find ourselves eventually up in Alaska. She has a cousin and her husband that have done that, and so you know, kind of thought that that would be a, a neat thing to maybe do once. Uh, the fascinating thing about it, though, is, is I'm not sure I want to be up there at the peak of time where the sun does not set and it's always sunny. Nor do I want to be up there at the time when the sun never rises, where it's always dark. Those two things just don't quite interest me. My former father-in-law was stationed at Thule Air Force Base in Greenland. He spent almost two years there, and he talked about that kind of season of time, right? I, I think we all know, though, metaphorically in our lives, there are seasons of darkness and there are seasons of light. And they come and go just like a, a day does, right? There are times where we find ourselves in the daylight from about 7 in the morning till 6 o'clock or so in the evening. And then beyond that, you know, 6.30, 7 o'clock at night till almost 7 o'clock the next morning, we are in darkness. Life is like that. We have moments where we find ourselves basking in the sunlight of goodness and all that's going on around us that is great and wonderful and joyous, and we have times where we find ourselves in darkness. And that may be pity, it may be despair, it may be anxiety, it may be mourning. That is the ebb and flow of life. I think what God wants us to know is, is that number one, uh, we're not going to always find ourselves just simply dwelling in darkness. Darkness is not a constant state for us. Light is not a constant state for us either. But at least in light, there's some goodness around us. Darkness, that's a little more challenging for us. And I think what God wants us to know is no matter what the season is, God is always near. God is present. And maybe you get a chance to sense that in the people that are around you too. I've noticed that in moments where it just seems like life is as at its lowest point and, and things just don't seem like they're going all that well and darkness kind of is around, that's usually when somebody calls or somebody stops by or, or somebody just kind of sends you a card to see how you're doing and, and, and or an email or something. And before you know it, you are reminded that you're not alone. God is present with you, and God is present with us in the people that are around us as well. So I want you to know that in every season, God is near, and that we should be reminded of that, even in the times where we feel like darkness is the season. So let's pray. So gracious Lord, thank you for letting us know that you are always near us even in the moments of darkness. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, friends, maybe think of someone today that's living in isolation that you might be know facing a, um, a challenging time in their life. And maybe take an opportunity just to reach out to them today and let them know you're thinking of them. I wrote some cards today. That was kind of my task wrote some notes and some cards to some folks that we haven't seen in a while and, and maybe you're feeling that away. And so I want you to think about that yourself. 
Otherwise, thank you for being here, all of you that were present today. Jack and Pat, glad you were here. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Chris. Glad you made it as well. Those of you that watch this later on, take a moment to post this. Uh, I'll leave a quick comment on our Facebook post. And for the rest of us, if you'd like to, take a moment to share this on your Facebook page. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. Be safe on this wonderful Halloween uh, holiday, and I'll look forward to being with you tomorrow. God's peace and grace be with you.